Alright, in this video, I'm going to explain about present value of NAD. Okay, before this, you learn about a future value of NAD, that is the S value. Okay, for present value of NAD, we use the notation A, capital letter A. So, what is present value of NAD? Present value of NAD is the sum of all present value of the periodic payments. Okay, so for example, <clears throat> if you have 100 ringgit and you invest that 100 ringgit every month for one year, okay, so 100 ringgit here, 100 ringgit here, 100 ringgit here, until the last month, uh, the 12 months, so this is your 100 ringgit. For each investment, for each 100 ringgit, the present value is the value at t equals to 0. Okay. This first payment of 100 ringgit, this is the present value. 100 ringgit is the value at the end of the first year because remember, this is ordinary annuity. In ordinary annuity, we make investment or payment at the end of period. So this 100 ringgit, the first 100 ringgit is the value at the end of the first year. So the present value of this annuity is the value at t equals to zero. Okay. So this is A1. A1 refers to the present value of the first 100 ringgit. Okay, and for the second 100 ringgit, the second 100 ringgit is the value at the end of the second month. So, the present value of this 100 ringgit is A2. It is the value at T equals to 0. And the next 100 ringgit, this is the value of the present value, A3. The value at t equals to zero. Okay, and the last investment, the last payment is this hundred ringgit on the twelve months. So we also have the present value of this amount at t equals to zero. Okay, so that means at t equals to zero because our investment for twelve months we invest every month. So we have twelve different present value at t equals to zero. So the present value of this annuity is the sum of all present value for each periodic payment. So that means present value of annuity here is A1 plus A2 plus A3 plus until the A12. So the sum of all present value for each periodic payment. Right. Okay. So the present value of annuity can also be referred to the lump sum money that must be deposited to today so that the equal, of, equal amount of money can be withdrawn at regular time interval until the time expires. And after the last withdrawal, there will be no more money left in the account. Okay, so maksudnya, uh, present value of annuity ni juga adalah uh, satu lump sum money yang you kena invest sekarang, yang you kena deposit sekarang supaya in the future, you boleh keluarkan equal amount of money every period. Okay, contoh, um, if you want to plan for your future, for your retirement, okay, you nak plan for your retirement, okay, let's say uh, after you retire, you nak keluarkan RM100 every month. So every month after you dah retire, you nak dapatkan 100 ringgit. So to make sure that you got the 100 ringgit after you got the 100 ringgit after you retire, you must invest one lump sum of money. So that lump sum value of money is the value of present value of annuity. To calculate the present value of annuity. 
a value we use this formula okay. r multiply with 1 minus 1 plus i power of negative of n divided by i okay please be careful here the power here should be negative of n where the r value r refers to regular payments or periodic payments i is k over m i is a rate per interest period n is equals to mt where this n is the number of payments okay and then uh, from the a value we can we can calculate the interest paid amount okay so i equals to rn minus a this is the formula for interest do not uh, confuse with uh, formula I equals to S minus Rn from the previous video. This is the formula to calculate the interest earned. Okay, macam mana nak bezakan uh, dua formula ini? Senang je. Kalau that question, you must find S value. Okay, the future value. Of course, to calculate the interest, you use this formula. But if that question asks you to find A or the present value of any T, to find the interest, you use this formula Rn minus it A. Okay, let's try uh, this example, example number 5 of your lecture notes. Find the present value of an NET of 500 ringgit every 6 months for 10, 1 over 2 years if money is worth 7% compounded semi-annually. So first step is to identify uh, the information given in the question. This is an EP concept. Find the present value. So you need to find P and eh, not P. Sorry, this is A because this is annuity. Color annuity present value, we use A notation. Okay, 500 ringgit. This is R, your regular payment or investment every six months for 10 1 over 2 years this is your t t is 10.5 years seven percent of course this is your k semi-annually so this is m equals to 2 right so to find a the formula is r 1 minus 1 plus i power of negative n divided by i okay so r is 500 1 minus 1 plus 0 0.07 over 2 negative of n n is empty so 2 times with t 10.5 over 0 0.07 over 2 okay next simplify your calculation 1 minus, this is 1.035 power of negative 21 divided by 0 0.035. Okay, so final answer for A is RM 7348.99. Okay, so this is the present value of this entity. In other words, um, this A amount is the amount that you must deposit in that account now so that in the future, you will have, you will get 500 ringgit every 6 months for 10.5 years. Alright? Okay, next example. Fazril has to be 12, 12 200 ringgit every three months for two years to settle a loan at 12% compounded quarterly. What is the original value of the loan? What is the total interest that he has to pay? Okay, so this is also annuity problem. Why? Because in this question, this 200 ringgit is paid every three months. So kita bayar, Fazri bayar 200 ringgit setiap tiga bulan. Okay. So, bila payment itu adalah uh, secara berkala, for this case, this every three months, 
So, this is annuity problem. Of course, this is R, kan? This is T, this is K, M equals to 4. So, for A, the original value of loan means the present value of the loan. So, for question A, you must find present value of annuity, the A amount. And for B, what is the total interest that he has to pay? So this one, you must find I. So I equals to Rn minus with A. Okay, because from the previous question, um, we must find the present value. So to find the interest payment, we use formula Rn minus with A. Okay, so first question find the present value right so r is 200 1 minus 1 plus k 12 percent so 0 0.12 over 4 divided by negative of n is mt so 4 times with t2 divided by 0 0.12 over 4 Right. 1 minus 1.03 power of negative 8 divided by 0.03. So the present value of this annuity is RM 1403.94. Okay. So this is the original value of Fazril's loan. And for B, total interest paid, so I is Rn minus A. Rn is 200 multiplied with, Rn is R multiplied with N. Okay, so R is 200, N is MT. So N is 8, so 200 times 8 minus with 1403.94. So 1600 minus 1403.94. So total interest paid is RM 196.06. Okay, next example, example number 7. If Salma wishes to receive 600 ringgit at the end of each quarter for 11 years from a financial company that pays 4.8% interest compounded quarterly, how much must she deposit in the company now? Right. Okay, berapa banyak uh, amount yang Salma perlu dalam perlu simpan dalam this company so that um, Salma akan dapat enam ratus ringgit at the end of each quarter. Maksudnya Salma kena dapatkan enam ratus ringgit pada penghujung setiap tiga bulan. So, you must find A, present value of annuity. Okay. How much the total interest L? This is I. So, I is Rn minus with A. So, this 600 ringgit is R value, regular payment, 11 years, 3, T equals to 11. This is K. Compounded quarterly, M is 4. Okay, so use A formula, present value of annuity formula. Okay, and substitute all of the values inside A formula. R, the I value, I is K over M. And then the N value, M multiplied with T. And then the next step. Uh, of course, to simplify your calculation and you will get this final answer. So, this is the value that Salma must deposit in this company now. Next step, find the total interest earned, Rn minus bit A. R is 600. N is 4 times 11, 44. So, 600 times 44 minus with the A amount. So 600 times 44 is 26,400 minus with A. 
So this is the interest 